Welcome to Farm Grow. Let's know about metal detectors in pharmaceutical industry. What is the purpose of a metal detector in tablet manufacturing? Metal detectors are used to identify and remove metal contaminants from tablets during production to ensure patient safety and comply with regulatory requirements FDA 21 CFR 211.110. What metals can pharmaceutical metal detectors identify? Modern pharmaceutical metal detectors can detect ferrous, non-ferrous and stainless steel contaminants with high sensitivity. Here we can take reference from ISO 15339 2019. Where should metal detectors be placed in a tablet production line? Metal detectors should be positioned after the tablet compression stage before packaging to intercept any metal contaminants. Difference WHO TRS 961 NXJ 10. How often should metal detectors be calibrated? Calibration should be performed daily or before each production batch as defined in the validation protocol. Difference USP 1058. Let's know what are the metal detector chips used for metal detector calibration. In pharmaceutical manufacturing, metal detector chips or test pieces are standardized metallic samples used to verify and calibrate metal detection systems. Commonly used metal detector chips are ferrous, non-ferrous and SS316 as shown in the diagram. What is the typical sensitivity requirement for metal detectors in pharma? The standard sensitivity threshold is less than equal to 1.0 mm for ferrous metals and less than equal to 1.5 mm for non-ferrous metals to ensure effective contamination control. Difference is GAMP5. Let's know how is a metal detector are qualified. Qualification involves installation qualification also known as IQ operational qualification OQ and performance qualification PQ using standardized test pieces. Reference FDA process validation guidance. What happens when a metal contaminant is detected? The system automatically activates a rejection mechanism to remove the contaminated product from the line. Reference ISO 22000 2018. Here the question is, can metal detectors affect tablet integrity? No, metal detection is a non-destructive process that does not compromise tablet quality or structure. Reference MHRA GMP. Now let's know what are the common causes of false rejections in metal detection. False rejects may occur due to product characteristics that is high moisture, salt content or electromagnetic interference in the environment. Reference EMA GMP Annexure 11. How should rejected tablets with metal contamination be handled? Contaminated tablets must be quarantined, investigated and documented under deviation management protocols. Reference FDA 21 CFR 211.192. What maintenance is required for metal detectors? Routine maintenance includes sensitivity verification, coil cleaning, and mechanical inspections to ensure consistent performance. Reference PICSPE00916. Can metal detectors replace sieves in tablet manufacturing? No. Sieves remove large particulate matter while metal detectors identify small metallic contaminants missed by sieving. Reference ICHQ7. What are the regulatory requirements for metal detection in pharma? Compliance with good manufacturing practices, GMP, HACCP principles and product safety regulations is mandatory. Reference UGMP part 4. How do you test a metal detector's performance? Performance is verified using certified test rods or spares passed through the detector at operational speeds. Reference ASTM. F2096. Who are the leading suppliers for metal detectors in pharmaceutical industry? Here in this table, we can see suppliers, their key products with their compliance. Metal Toredo, Thermo Fisher Scientific, 
Aries and Sia are the suppliers of the metal detectors in pharmaceutical industry. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to the channel for more informative videos related to the pharmaceutical industry.